Hello, 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 it's Nate. I am stuck in a hotel room the whole day with my brother Joaquin. Today, we're gonna be talking about the secret to getting more subscribers. Actually, three. Okay, maybe they're not really secrets. Consistency is number one. What is consistency? Consistency is every single week you are coming out with a new video or every single, you know, so often you are shooting, editing, and putting out that video. Why is it important to establish consistency? Because it makes sense for like people who go on YouTube every so often to be seeing a new video by you on their homepage like every time that they're on YouTube. The more they see you in your thumbnail, the more likely they will be to click on a video of yours. Consistency also helps like grow your pool of videos that you have on your channel. The more videos you have, the more nets you will have to pull people in, the more times that your videos will be featured on like related videos of other videos and the more likely it will be that you will be found by a non-subscriber. So how do you establish consistency? Just agree on a particular day of the week or a particular like schedule and commit to that. And commit to that. I started by posting like I think every Friday and then I moved to every Sunday and then when I graduated from school and now I'm doing it three times a week every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Two, analytics. What is analytics? Analytics sound boring because they're all numbers and graphs and stuff but basically analytics is the data that you get out of like the people that watch your videos. You'll be able to find out a lot like where your viewers are from, what age they are, if they're guys or girls mostly and more importantly for me, you'll also be able to find out what videos they like the most, how long they watch each video, how much money you get from each video, and which videos rake in the most subscribers. So why is it important to study your analytics? So that you know what videos... <laughs> So that you'll know which videos on your channel work the best in accomplishing certain goals like breaking in new subscribers or making money. It's really as easy as clicking the Creator Studio on desktop, which is what I do, or you can get the YouTube Studio app. Start by reading the overview, find out what these different things mean. If you need a more in-depth guide, there is a guide released on analytics by Creator Academy. I recommend you go check that out, I'm linking that down below. And if your goal is to get more subscribers, then look for videos that not only get a lot of views but that bring in more subscribers. For me, there are two types of videos, outreach videos and in-reach videos. Outreach videos are meant to attract a wide audience, people who aren't really subscribed to me. Super interesting things that might not be even like my regular content or something that I always love to do. But people who don't know me would still watch a video of me talking about say how to get more subscribers or a bad lip reading or maybe a challenge. In-reach videos on the other hand are more for like satisfying my pun money, stuff I love to do, stuff you love to watch me do, stuff that you know we can do together. This content is mostly found in vlogs because you know if you don't know me why are you gonna care about what happens in my life but if you do then you would be interested to watch my vlogs. So check out what you're posting, see if they're attracting more subscribers. Are they outreach videos? Are they in-reach videos? Analytics you know. Three clickbait. Yes, I just said clickbait. Uh, I think clickbait is good if it attracts the right interest and it satisfies that interest. I'm looking through my videos now and I think it's okay to post something like should I stop vlogging with all caps and two question marks when you know in the video I actually do talk about me wanting to stop vlogging for a while. My first video, Janina Vela Stuck in a Tree, actually did feature Janina Vela being stuck in a tree. It wasn't totally about Janina being stuck in a tree the whole vlog but it did feature that and it did satisfy that interest. Then again, if I post something like he broke his leg and then all Joaquin really did was like ride a scooter and then just fall down once and nothing really broke, you know. That's too much exaggeration to the point of lying and I don't believe in that. But yes, clickbait for attracting subscribers. Why is that important? Because if somebody has no idea what your video is about and doesn't find it interesting, why is he gonna click on your video? A good thumbnail and an interesting title, these are like the two elements that a complete stranger non-subscriber is gonna see about your channel first. See, see first about your channel or but really, if your video does not look interesting from the onset, why is anybody gonna watch it, right? So to summarize, number one, be consistent so that people will always see you on their YouTube homepage. Number two, explore your analytics. Look for the type of videos that rake in the most subscribers and then make more of that. And three, make sure your titles and thumbnails actually pique people's interest. So there you go, three tips for getting more subscribers. And before I end, I want to invite you guys to my birthday 
a gig. On November 29, I will be partnering with Share Movement to raise funds for feeding programs that they're gonna be holding over the Christmas season. I've invited my YouTuber friends like Janina, Hannah Pangilinan, Kali and Mackie, you know, Nadine. I've also invited spoken word artists like Sofia Paderes and music artists like Sabu. I'll be there, I'll be singing my song, which, you know, I'm linking right here for you guys. Is this, is this it? Sorry, like, I can't flip this. Maybe, maybe it's here. But yeah, go check that out. I'm flashing the poster once again. You can follow me or share movement on Instagram or Twitter for more details. And let's use the Carpe DM together. Oh, wait. Sorry, plan. Protect my face, Gab. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.